filming. Hi, Granddad. Hi, Zoe. What did you do at school today? We weren't at school. We went to Cambridge University and we were discovering what happened with chocolate. Ah, what happened with chocolate then? Well, what we did is we had three pieces of chocolate, all different types, and we melted them all and we had to find out which one was melted the, the coolest and which one melted the highest. Um, and we found that the white chocolate melted the easiest and melted at 46 degrees and the, the milk chocolate melted at 44 degrees and the plain chocolate melted at 48 degrees and we found that the white chocolate was smooth and contained lots of cocoa butter so that was why it was white and the milk chocolate was smooth also but it was sweet and chocolatey um, and it had more cocoa powder which is why it was brown and the dark chocolate was very strong and it had a bitter taste and this is why it was the darkest because it had the most cocoa powder in it and it was the hardest to melt um, the more cocoa butter that um, the chocolate has the easier it is to melt and the more cocoa powder the chocolate has the harder it is to melt what is bloom then? bloom is when the chocolate is either heated or cooled very quickly and it separates the cocoa powder and the cocoa butter so you get a white surface on the top of the dark chocolate or milk chocolate and it and that is when the milk the white <laughs> the what is the white bloom then? White bloom is when you either heat chocolate or cool it down, when the chocolate inside separates and you get cocoa powder and cocoa butter. And the white on the surface is the cocoa butter. And when the more crystals you have in the chocolate and the larger they are, the more white bloom you have. Hello and welcome to Saucen VC's Outdoor Cooking Day. Welcome, my assistant. <laughs> Today, we will be tempering chocolate. Step one. First, you take 100 grams of chocolate and heat it in a double boiler in to between 32 to 35 degrees C. Step two. Cool the chocolate down to 26 degrees, turning constantly to anger it. Step three. Heat again up to 30 degrees and hold, hold at this temperature for several minutes. Step four. Heat up to 32 degrees or 33 degrees. By, by this time the chocolate is really, really angry. Step five. Spread the angry chocolate onto a greaseproof paper. This is this is one that we have done earlier. <laughs> oh. So now the chocolate can cool down and get itself together. And now it will be shiny and it will turn into shiny snappable chocolate. And the whole reason we've been doing this is to make the chocolate snappy and shiny from the horrible shop chocolate that's all there. The answer to galaxy the galaxy chocolate being smoother is that it has the same the right amount of balance of white butter and cocoa powder. Thank you for watching our outdoor sh cooking show.